September 26th. Yes, it is celebrated as the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. Yes, since around 2013 or so, this September 26th is celebrated as the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons because a high-level conference was held with the United Nations in 2013 on September 26th. That is being commemorated as the ideal day for eliminating the total nuclear weapons. But it appears utopian dream. It is very difficult to implement. It is still remaining as an ideal in between 2021-2021 January 22 the TPNW came into force. That is Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons or the Ban Treaty. All nuclear weapons are to be prohibited just like biological weapons and chemical weapons. That is the ideal of this Ban Treaty or TPNW. And on January 22, if I am not wrong, in 2021, this came into force. But unfortunately, several countries, NATO countries, except one country, NATO countries not signed. Many countries not signed, including India. And the important aspect is total elimination of the nuclear weapons is, it appears, utopian dream at the present juncture. And there is more relation between statement 1 and statement 2. In fact, with regard to this TPNW, Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, this all together want to eliminate nuclear weapons, prohibit nuclear weapons. About this ban treaty, I would like to discuss in the current affairs on Thursday and I am asking one more question in the next week prelims dossier. In fact, there is no link between these two. September 26 is celebrated as the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons because of the simple reason on that day, high-level conference was held with the United Nations in 2013 in New York. And this Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons or Ban Treaty, this is the effort of the agencies of the United Nations along with several civil society organizations. But many countries are non-signatories. So, here you see, the second statement is wrong. It came into force on 22nd January or so 2021. So, first statement is correct, but the second statement is incorrect. So, C is the right option for this particular question. Thank you.